Consider the people and events that shape your life. You are constantly striving to get somewhere and to obtain a place in life. You concentrate very hard on many things in your life and think deeply on matters you regard as important. However, there are also things you avoid thinking about. What is more, many people around you behave in the same way. They too are aware of these matters that they imagine should not be talked about nor thought about. Death, which some people imagine to be an end to which there is no solution, is one of these subjects. The day of judgment, which will spell the death of the universe, is another of these crucial matters that people avoid thinking about. The day of judgment is the final day in the life of this world, and even the end of the whole universe. But at the same time, it is the beginning of the eternal life of the hereafter. This day is when all of mankind will be resurrected. Those who believed in Allah and the Day of Judgment during their earthly lives will be welcomed into paradise, while the deniers will be cast into hell. There is no point in someone who is aware of these facts hiding from the facts of death, the Day of Judgment, and the hereafter. On the contrary, the events that will take place with the Day of Judgment and the reality of death will spur them on to greater activity. They will encourage them to engage in good works on the path of Allah, will turn them towards belief in the hereafter, and be a means whereby they draw closer to Allah. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Not so. All who submit themselves completely to Allah and are good doers will find their reward with their Lord. They will feel no fear and will know no sorrow. The film explains the Day of Judgment and the events that will take place on that day, and it warns people of that difficult time. The essential thing, however, is that the Day of Judgment is a reality awaiting all human beings. Ignoring and failing to reflect on this great truth, which will inevitably be faced, must not be regarded as acceptable. Such avoidance will bring with it nothing but eternal ruin in the hereafter. If someone is aware of and reflects sincerely on these facts, this will, by Allah's leave, be a means whereby they will enjoy security on that day and they will attain the eternal life of paradise. Death is drawing ever closer. Whether you are young or old, death is drawing closer with every passing day, and even with every passing minute. You cannot alter time, and you cannot in any way prevent the approach of death. No precautions you take can prevent you and those around you from being temporary. The day that will put an end to your life, like that of everything else, is approaching. However, it is not only human beings that are mortal in this world. All other things on earth and even the universe itself are mortal. And the day when they will cease to exist has been determined. That day is the last day on which the life of this world will come to an end. It will be a day of terror, more terrible than any human being can conceive, and also the magnificent last day.
Everything on earth will be destroyed, the stars will fall apart, and the sun will be extinguished. Everyone who has ever lived up until that time will be gathered together, and will witness that day. This last day will be a very difficult one for the deniers, and it is certain that this day is in the hands of Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. The Day of Judgment is approaching. Contrary to what most people believe, the Day of Judgment is not far off. On that day, everything that belongs to this world will cease to exist. Desires, wishes, anger, expectations, lust, enmity, and pleasure will all come to an end. Plans for the future will no longer have any meaning. It will be the day when all the deceptive wealth, beauty, and occupations of everyone who forgot that they would return to Allah will come to an end. On that day, all of mankind will witness the existence of Allah in a definitive manner and they will find themselves facing the day of death that they had sought to forget. The beginning of life in the hereafter is the hour of the day of judgment, and there is no doubt that the hour of death is approaching. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan, and the hour is coming without any doubt, and Allah will raise up all those in the graves. The images and sounds you will shortly be seeing and hearing have been prepared with the aim of depicting the Day of Judgment. Yet no image could ever adequately describe the events that will take place on that day. As we are informed in the Qur'an, the Day of Judgment is the day mankind will stand before the Lord of all the worlds. When the universe and all living things will disappear, that disappearance will take place as the result of events that have never been witnessed before. That day is the day of death of human beings, animals, and everything that exists. In short, the entire universe will cease and end. That day is when the mighty power of Allah will clearly be seen and appreciated by all. That day will be filled with terror, fear, and suffering for deniers. That day will be a day of unseen regret, fear, and humiliation. The verses of the Qur'an are the source of everything described in this film and it is certain that all these things will take place. Allah has determined the manner in which all these representations will occur. Of course, the events described here may all actually take place in a very different way. What we know for sure is that the events promised by Allah will inevitably take place. On the Day of Judgment, people will be faced with a majestic scene the like of which they have never seen before. The universe and all the living things within it will entirely cease and end. There is no possibility of anyone learning the causes of these things, of escaping these catastrophes, or of looking for solutions to them. The truth that everyone will see on that day is the existence of Allah and the hereafter.
I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. The trumpet will be blown. That is the day of threat. The blowing of the trumpet is the herald that the hour of the day of judgment promised by Allah in the Quran has come. That sound is the end of the life of this world and the beginning of the hereafter. People who are aware of what they will see on this great day and who are warned that they will have to account for themselves will now be confronted by the promised truth. The sound which they will hear at an entirely unexpected moment will bear no resemblance to any sound ever heard before. People will realize that the span allotted to them has come to an end. This sound heralds the fact that a troubled day has begun. When those who have deviated into unbelief will experience eternal fear, terror, and woe. In his verses, Allah tells us that, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. For when the trumpet is blown, that day will be a difficult day, not easy for the unbelievers. It is absolutely certain that someone who hears the sound of the trumpet while on their way to work in the morning, or someone who hears it when preparing to go to sleep, having postponed all his desires and expectations until the following morning, will have absolutely no way out. The order they wished to maintain, and they themselves have come to their final moments. This majestic truth they refuse to believe in, despite actually being well aware of it, has finally caught up with them. Throughout his life, someone who sought refuge in false powers that he thought could protect him now has no one from whom he can seek help and nowhere to hide. Apart from believers, everyone will be in the same condition. They have despairingly submitted to what has befallen them. And all the people who have ever lived will be gathered together in the sight of Allah. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. The trumpet will be blown and at once they will be sliding from their graves towards their Lord. For a denier, the sound of the trumpet means facing the truths he has avoided throughout the course of his life. It also expresses the moment when there is no longer any possibility of making up for his misdeeds. The fear felt at that moment is indescribable. Terror and panic that have never been seen or heard before are experienced. All mistakes made in this world can be made good. Or these errors may be forgotten with the passing of time. Yet this sound, which announces that all things have now come to an end, also heralds the fact that there is now no time left to rectify the mistakes that have been made. The sound of the trumpet on that day will instill great fear into deniers and all people will bow their heads to this truth by which they are confronted. Allah reveals this in the Qur'an. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. On the day the trumpet is blown and everyone in the heavens and everyone on the earth is terrified, except those Allah wills, everyone will come to him abject. The fact is, however, that everyone has previously been reminded of this before the day they are now facing. Allah has warned people by means of his verses and his messengers on the subject of turning to him before a day from which there is no return dawns and has revealed that there can be no help after death for those who behave differently. The regret that will be felt by someone who is confronted by torment at an unexpected moment and the fact that no help will be forthcoming are described as follows in the Quran. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Turn to your Lord and submit to him before punishment comes upon you, for then you cannot be helped. Follow the best that has been sent down to you from your Lord before the punishment comes upon you suddenly when you are not expecting it. The life of this world preferred for the sake of temporary advantages has now come to an end with the sound of the trumpet. Everyone is now confronted by what has been promised. 
the fear and terror awoken in people by the reality of what has taken place are very great. Everyone heeds the same call and realizes that they are faced by a truth from which there is no way back. This is a very momentous day, and the trumpet is merely a herald of the events that will take place. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When the earth is convulsed with its quaking and the earth then disgorges its charges and man asks, what is wrong with it? On that day it will impart all its news because your Lord has inspired it. The trumpet that every living thing will hear on the day of judgment makes an ear-splitting noise and the earth will be rocked by a tremor, the like of which has never been known before. Giant mountains, trees, skyscrapers, buildings, everything and everywhere in the world will begin rocking at the same time. People will be seized by a terrible fear and panic in the face of this tremor, the like of which has never been encountered before. The most terrifying thing of all is that there will be nowhere to hide or seek shelter from this earthquake. Because this quake bears no resemblance to those that human beings have seen before, which affect only a certain region or city, and which last for only a matter of seconds. What is happening now is an earthquake from which there is no escape. An earthquake that begins all over the world at the same time, and which will bring the entire world down. It will continue until the whole world has been destroyed. Allah knows the truth. Allah reveals the tremors that people will encounter on the Day of Judgment in these terms in the Quran. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. On the day the first blast shudders, and the second blast follows it. Hearts that day will be pounding, and eyes will be cast down. Nothing in this world now has any value or meaning anymore. Everything that has deceived people, such as luxury homes, giant skyscrapers, five-star hotels, the homes they have bought by saving their money with enormous greed and that they have built by expanding huge labor on them, palaces, bridges, the best known structures in the world, the pyramids that have survived for thousands of years in the face of all kinds of natural phenomena, historic castles and cities will melt away just like sand castles on the beach. the workplaces and luxury cars in which people's hopes were placed, and everything people own in the life of this world which they boasted about was suddenly come to an end. People's glory, fame, prestige, and power will no longer be of any meaning or importance. The way the earth will be torn apart is revealed as follows in the Quran. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. No, indeed, when the earth is crushed and ground to dust, and your Lord arise with the angels rank upon rank, and that day hell is produced, that day man will remember. But how will the remembrance help him?
I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. And the earth then disgorges its charges and man asks, What is wrong with it? On that day it will impart all its news because your Lord has inspired it. The expression, the earth disgorges its charges in this verse, refers to the fact that together with many things under the ground, the viscous part inside the seed will also entirely rise up above the surface. The fierce tremors that take place all over the world and the fracturing of all the earth's strata constitute the necessary infrastructure for such a thing to have no difficulty in occurring. In other words, the strong earthquakes on the day of judgment will cause ruination underground and lava will pour out from the cracks in the earth as people attempt to hide from the mountains and giant buildings collapsing on top of them. This will cause people once again to realize that there is no escaping death. Disaster will follow disaster and as people seek to avoid one disaster another will catch them. Allah knows the truth. The earth has bowed its head to Allah. This is revealed in another verse. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When the earth is flattened out and disgorges what is inside it and empties out, hearkening to its Lord as it is bound to do, underground waters will pour forth from the strata of the earth fractured by the intensity of the tremors. Pressurized water has a particularly violent impact. Major damage will be wrecked on the region where this eruption begins, and a flood layer that has a damaging effect on life will cover the world. When a volcano erupts anywhere, countless quantities of dust and solid particles are thrown into the upper layers of the atmosphere. During such explosions, the whole area is covered in ashes and dust. Indeed, in the sixth verse of Surat al waqiyah Allah reveals this as the mountains become scattered dust in the air. In agreement with the description given in the Quran, there is a very high likelihood of similar explosions happening all over the world on the Day of Judgment. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan when the mountains are pulverized. The strongest earthquake determined to date registers around 9.5 on the Richter scale. An earthquake of that intensity will swiftly inflict a terrible catastrophe on the region in which it takes place. The earthquake that occurs on the Day of Judgment, however, will be of an intensity the like of which has never before been seen anywhere on earth. This quake will be so great that even the mountains that stick into the ground like giant pegs and protect the earth against violent quakes will be unable to withstand it. Mountains regarded as immovable and the soundest structures on earth will be torn up and begin sliding together with the soil underneath them. Verses from the Quran that describe this movement of the mountains on that day read as follows. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. And the mountains shift about. And the mountains are shifted and become a mirage. On the day we make the mountains move and you see the earth laid bare and we gather them together not leaving out a single one of them. Mountains cover much of the world. The simultaneous uprooting of all of them 
such giant structures sliding over the earth and coming together, and the ground becoming totally flat is, of course, one of the most terrifying sights that people can ever witness. It is hard to imagine such a sight. Just imagine that the Himalayas, the Alps, and the Taurus Mountains, whose peaks people have enormous difficulty in reaching and are regarded as being rooted to the ground, suddenly begin rocking and moving. Mountains tens of thousands of meters high, and the cities built on the slopes of those mountains will suddenly collapse. It is a terrifying state of affair when all the mountains in the world turn into piles of sand, and when these magnificent structures suddenly collapse. Thus it is very important to comprehend the infinite might of Allah and to appreciate His greatness. The form that mountains will assume on the Day of Judgment is described in the Qur'an. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. On the day the earth and the mountains shake, and the mountains become like shifting dunes. Another piece of information imparted in the Qur'an is that after the mountains have been broken apart and have collapsed, the earth will become completely flat. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. They will ask you about the mountains, say, My Lord will scatter them as dust. He will leave them as a barren level plain, on which you will see no dip or gradient. Imposing sights that seem very familiar to us when we look outside will be totally flattened on that day. All mankind will be gathered together on that utterly flat wasteland. Allah emphasizes this in Surah Al-Kaf. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. On the day we make the mountains move, and you see the earth laid bare, and we gather them together, not leaving out a single one of them. On that day, the plants, flowers, and vegetation that cover them, and the different colored minerals inside them, will be scattered around together with various kinds of soils and various kinds of hues. Mountains will be broken up and scattered together with all their imposing majesty. This array of color is compared to different colored wools in the Qur'an. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan and the mountains like tufts of colored wool and the mountains like tufts of colored wool It is hard to imagine the seas, the largest mass of water that covers three quarters of the earth, suddenly begin to froth and boil. We have no previous experience to help us imagine the terror of that moment. We can picture it to some extent, perhaps by pushing the bounds of our imaginations. The earth will discourage all its weight on that day. This means that the subterranean stratum, at a temperature of around 4,500 degrees, will pour out of everywhere it can do so. This will also certainly apply to that which is beneath the sea. Anyone who has seen the progress of lava under the sea on a documentary program has witnessed a stunning scene.
Yet the scene that will emerge on the Day of Judgment will be far different, far more wide-ranging, and far more terrifying. All the seas on the earth will burn, and an unstoppable mass of fire and flame will head towards human beings. All the seas will solidify on that day. Allah tells us this in the relevant verse. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When the oceans surge into each other, as a result of the events that take place, Life in the sea will come to an end, just like that on land. The seas, which normally cause feelings of cool and comfort, will suddenly begin giving off an incredible heat. Clouds of flame will replace the giant waves in the oceans, and the smoke in the air will consume much of the oxygen there. The picture of the boundless seas burning and bubbling fiercely will prevail over much of the world, and bring many catastrophes with it. The overflowing of the seas is one of the phenomena the Qur'an tells us will take place on the Day of Judgment. By the will of Allah, disasters in the sea will be added to those on land on the Day of Judgment. It is sufficient for Allah to so will for this and similar catastrophes to take place. Allah is mighty enough to destroy all the life forms He created on earth from nothing by just telling them to be. The probable causes that will bring all this about are merely reminders for us, a means of drawing close to Allah and fearing His wrath. The way these events will take place and what their causes will be is known only in the sight of Allah. There may be no direct cause and the Day of Judgment may begin suddenly in all its manifestations. Some instances that may well take place are to do with the overflowing of the sea. It is a known fact that when an earthquake occurs underneath the sea, giant waves form on the surface. The waves that spread from the epicenter head rapidly for the shore at surface speeds of up to 750 kilometers per hour. Waves not even one meter tall in the middle of the ocean can rise to several meters in height when they reach the shore. A similar wave following the Indonesian earthquake led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people. As we have seen, Although earthquakes or volcanic eruptions that take place under the sea affect only a specific region, they also cause the seas to overflow and kill thousands of people. Yet on the Day of Judgment, in the same way that nothing will be left standing above the ground, so nothing will be left unshaken beneath the sea. The seas will therefore overflow due to the powerful tremors occurring underneath them and this will impact the whole world in a manner incomparably more powerful than that tsunamis we know today. With the coming of the Day of Judgment, the fear it provokes will cause them to forget everything they attach any value to. They will realize that things that had been a passion for them no longer have any meaning. Their value judgments will change in a matter of seconds. Neither property nor even their children have any value anymore. Maternal or paternal feelings will all lose their significance. Faced with the terror of the Day of Judgment, they will forget even those people they value most, even their own children. Nobody will inquire after their children, nor even think of them. There is no doubt that the Day of Judgment will be a very difficult one for those who do not believe. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan.
On the day the sky is like molten brass, and the mountains like tufts of colored wool, no good friend will ask about his friend, even though they can see each other. An evildoer will wish he could ransom himself from the punishment of that day, by means of his sons, or his wife, or his brother, or his family who sheltered him, or everyone else on earth, if that only meant that he could save himself. The day when the heaven is split apart in clouds, and the angels are sent down rank upon rank, the kingdom that day will belong in truth to the all-merciful. It will be a hard day for the unbelievers. Even children, no older than babies, will be abandoned by their families on that day. People will not know what to do in the face of these totally unexpected events, the like of which they have never seen before. Their terror will be so sudden and so intense that pregnant women will miscarry out of shock. It is revealed in the Qur'an that the panic caused by the events of that troubled day will cause women to forget the children they are suckling. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. On the day they see it, every nursing woman will be oblivious of the baby at her breast, and every pregnant woman will abort the contents of her womb, and you will think people are drunk when they are not drunk. It is just that the punishment of Allah is so severe. The day of judgment is a day when those who turn their backs on the calls made to them while they were in this world and those who forgot Allah, our true friend and creator, will seek to flee and be saved. Everyone will try to save himself. It is revealed in the Quran that on that terrible day, no bonds between people, no family ties, and no bonds of friendship will be left. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. The day a man will flee from his brother, and his mother, and his father, and his wife, and his children. On that day, every man among them will have concerns enough of his own. The day of judgment and the eternal life to follow are the most important realities awaiting every human being. For that reason, what this film tells us about the transitory nature of the life of this world is of the greatest importance. Nothing in this world, not your career, nor your marriage, nor your goods and property, are as important and crucial as what you do for that eternal life. All that is needed is living and endeavoring for the sake of Allah's approval. Allah would create the start of eternal life with very great and glorious events. Everyone who lives to see that day will realize that the life of this world has finally come to an end and will unmistakably realize the existence of the hereafter. The content of this film permits you to escape from your daily concerns and temporary transient desires for a moment and to see the true purpose behind your life. The aim of this film is to warn you about the Day of Judgment that you will encounter as a certain fact before that great and troubled day actually arrives. For sure, this is an important warning. Those who live a life far from the reality of the Day of Judgment will certainly suffer difficulties until the end of time in the hereafter. You will inevitably witness the Day of Judgment described in considerable detail in the Qur'an. On that day, you will see everything you possess, and you will even see your own body being taken away from you, and you will be resurrected into a new life. Before that day comes, you must seize the opportunity given to you by Allah while you are still in this world. All you have to do in order to attain true blessings, ease and peace is to have faith in Allah. 
and give thanks for the blessings He has bestowed, and have faith that the Day of Judgment is a certain fact. Allah makes this clear in a verse. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Those who deny the meeting with Allah have lost, so that when the hour comes upon them suddenly, they will say, Alas, for what we neglected there. They will bear their burdens on their backs. How evil is what they bear.